Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done a jean thrift flip and I have this jean jacket that I thrifted a while ago. It's just a jean jacket that has a regular fit. So I thought that I would cut off the sleeves and maybe do something fun with it. I have this gorgeous yarn by Darn Good Yarn and for the month of September they have this really beautiful Greece Olympian Odyssey sort of Mediterranean inspired yarn and I when I saw the color scheme with this one alongside this jean jacket I just thought it went perfectly and so I thought that I would do it with that. A couple of years ago I did do a crochet sleeve jean jacket thrift flip and it was one of my favorite makes so I'm really excited to do something a little bit different with this one. That one had more of a sweater design to it, but this one, I think since it's late September going into fall, I thought that I'd make it a bit more of an autumn sort of vibe, maybe a bit more lacy. I have this dragonfly lace motif that I'm really excited to crochet up with this yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this off. This is how the jacket looked in the beginning. It's just a basic jacket with the regular fit that I thrifted a while ago. So I'm excited to give it a little makeover. So to get started, I'm going to cut off both of the sleeves on the jacket. And to do this, I'm just gonna lay it completely flat and then take my scissors and then go right along the edge of the seam here. So got one sleeve, now just need to do the other. All right, and the second sleeve. So I'm just gonna save these in my scrap fabric bin and use these for another project. Here are the materials that I used and the techniques that are good to know. And this is a beginner friendly project and I used five ounces of DK weight yarn for this project. So now I have my Taylor's chalk and some measuring tape and I'm just gonna turn the jacket inside out. And I'm gonna use my Taylor's chalk to mark every half inch along the inside of the sleeve. And this is just really helpful because it'll allow me to work the stitches that I'm about to work in order to anchor the crochet to the sleeve. Um, nice and evenly so that it looks better. And once I've marked on the inside, this is what it looks like. And now I found some embroidery thread that I thought went pretty nicely with this yarn. And so I'm going to use it to work a mattress stitch along each of these markings that I did with the Taylor's chalk. And if you wanna see the exact video where I show breaking down step-by-step step how to do this mattress stitch along the edge of the sleeve, you can check out the video in the card above. I'm just gonna go ahead and work the mattress stitch along the edge. And the reason why I'm working it on the inside of the jacket is because it will hide the stitches that then I'll crochet on and it will be nice and evenly worked. So first I worked a blanket stitch at each place where I marked along the inside of the jacket. And this is absolutely my go-to stitch for anchoring my crochet work to garments or fabric. It has such a nice strong hold and is easy to hide inside of the garment. Then I used this gorgeous silk yarn by Darn Good Yarn for this project, which I feel has the perfect color palette for late summer, early fall. I worked a slip stitch into the bottom of the armhole, then chain three, which will count as a double crochet this time and for the rest of this project. Then I worked one double crochet in each blanket stitch around, so I had a total of 41 double crochets. When I worked my markings for the blanket stitch at half an inch apart, there were 41 markings, so I worked 41 stitches, but for the lace pattern, I do need 56 stitches. So I worked 41 double crochet for the first round, and then for the second round, I need to increase. So I chain three, and I worked one double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochet in the next stitch. And I repeated this all the way around. So I worked one double crochet in the next two stitches, then two double crochet in the next stitch. But then when I got to the last three stitches, I worked two double crochet in each of them. This is also going to give me a bit of extra give or room in that underarm area, which I figure is always good to have. Then for round three, I chain eight, which will count as a double crochet and chain five. 
space. I skipped five stitches, then worked one treble in the next stitch. Then chain five, skip five stitches and work one double crochet in the next three stitches. Chain five, skip five stitches and then repeat those same steps behind the asterisk all the way around until you get to the last two stitches in this round. Then work one double crochet in the last two stitches and slip stitch into the beginning chain three. For round four, chain three and work one double crochet in the next two stitches. Then chain three and skip three stitches and work one single crochet into the next stitch, which is that treble crochet from the previous round. Chain three, skip three, then work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Repeat the steps behind the asterisk two more times, then chain three, skip three, and work one single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip three stitches, and work one double crochet into the last four stitches in this round. Slip stitch into that beginning chain three. Then for round five, chain three, and work one double crochet into the next five stitches. Chain one, skip one, and work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Repeat that all the way around, and in the last stitch, work a chain one space. Skip that last stitch and slip stitch into the beginning chain three. Then for round six, chain three, and work one double crochet into each stitch and chain space around, which will give you 56 double crochet in total. Simply repeat those same steps from round three to six until your sleeve reaches the desired length. I repeated it six more times, so I had seven dragonflies in total stacked in my sequence. It's important to also turn your work at the beginning of the sequence, so at the beginning of only round three, so that your dragonflies line up nicely. And once it was complete, this is how it looked. I loved how it turned out, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I had a lot of fun with this one. I felt like this color palette was perfect for late summer, and I loved working with the silk yarn. It has the most beautiful drape, and it looks so lovely with this lace motif. Let me know what other crochet projects you'd like to see in the comments below, and I'll drop a link to the pattern on my blog in the description box below if you want to check it out there as well. Also, if you want to try out the yarn of the month for yourself over at Darn Good Yarn, use my link in the description box in the code Cactus Lady Creation, all one word, for a discount at checkout. Well, thanks again for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye.